accepts your God-given happiness. Heaven Letter Number 6014 May 13, 2017 Give joy to the world. This cannot be said enough. Joy to yourself as well, for you live on earth and are indeed part of the world. There is no reason for you to be left out of happiness. If you want to make a difference to the world, be happy. Don't try to be happy. Be happy. I wonder if happiness cannot be a decision you make. I wonder if you can allow happiness. Maybe you don't have to chase it down and find it. Happy doesn't have to mean a desire fulfilled, although it could. Happiness is not a desperate have to have sort of thing. Happiness could be a walk around a lake. It could be seeing a sunrise or a sunset at its prime. Happiness could be seeing a kindness or a smile. Honesty could reap happiness. Happiness can be a quiet calm thing. A glass of water could be happiness. Cracking an egg could be happiness. The sky is the limit. There is no end to the little things that can be happiness, and happiness again and again. I vote for happiness. Happiness is always right around the corner. Is this a new thought? Happiness is renewable. Happiness can step right up to your door. Happiness could be a new ball gown. Of course, you can have happiness without a new ball gown. How you look at life influences your happiness. Finding fault isn't exactly a source of happiness any more than hunger is. Happiness can take you by surprise. Happiness can also be your daily fare. Anticipate happiness. Indeed. Happiness is on its way to you. Let happiness claim you. Shortening a skirt can give you happiness. Cleaning your fridge can merit happiness. Mopping the floor. There is much that can give you happiness. Even if you don't like a certain kind of work, getting the work done can give you happiness. Accept your God-given happiness. What does it mean to be unhappy? Unhappiness is an idea just like happiness is. Trade in unhappiness for happiness. Gather ye rosebuds while you may. What are ten things that could give you even a little happiness today? And why not have these tidbits of happiness? You don't have to be fussy about happiness. No need to be particular. Be happy even if your soft-boiled egg isn't cooked enough or is cooked too well. You can be on time and be happy. You can be early and be happy. You can be late and be happy. You are capable of stepping in a puddle, and you can still be happy. What must you have in order to be happy? Not much really. All it takes to be happy is to be happy. Why not be happy no matter what? Why not thank life for occurring haphazardly as it may do? Why not thank your lucky stars? You don't have to have happiness, yet you can have it. Happiness isn't something to stamp your foot for. Who or what is to stop you from having happiness, or, for that matter, stop you from giving happiness away? If you have to walk home, be happy to walk home. If your car breaks down, consider this time as a respite. What exactly has to take away even a little happiness from your heart? What cannot add a little happiness? Perhaps happiness does not have to be on the scale. What does it mean to be extremely happy? And why must you have to be extremely happy in order to be happy enough? Is your happiness something you own? Or is happiness something you accept? Is your happiness something to put off for another day? Put happiness on your calendar. Stoke the fires of happiness. Let there be no days off from happiness. Be lavish with happiness. Serve yourself. Life costs too much without happiness. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org